In this lesson, we're going to look at domain, range, and the vertex for quadratics. We have two forms. I went ahead and put a rectangle around each of the forms we're going to look at. You could put an A in front of here. Recall, if the absolute value of A is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch, so it makes your graph narrow. If the absolute value of A is less than 1, it's a vertical shrink, which makes your graph wide. And then if A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, it opens down. We're not going to look at A today. That's why I didn't originally put it in here. But the general formula would have the A in there. Your vertex is HK. Remember, if this is minus 3, you have to do the opposite to get the H value because it's minus H or opposite H. But the vertex is going to be HK if you have it written in vertex form. If you have it written in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, recall we found the x-coordinate of the vertex by doing negative b over 2a, and then we plug that value in for y. So we're going to look and see what the vertex is. We're going to decide if it has a maximum or a min. Does it open up or down? So is A positive, is A negative? The domain we looked at before, and that is always negative infinity to positive infinity. And your range, if the graph opens up, it's, the range is going to be greater than the Y value from the vertex. If it opens down, it's going to be less than or equal to the Y value of the vertex. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Our vertex, notice this, you can either do either form for this, but I'm going to do HK. I didn't subtract anything from X, and I didn't add or subtract on the outside here. So my vertex for this is 0, 0. And I gave you the picture this time. It does open up, but I knew that because A was positive. The domain is a freebie, negative infinity to infinity. And your range is floor to ceiling. Notice since it has a minimum, it's going to be greater than the y value of the vertex. So the y value of the vertex is 0. And so you'll start with 0 here. And then it goes to infinity. In Schoology, you'll need to put INF for infinity. On example 2. Notice I have an H value here. H in this case is 2. You have to do the opposite of that. I didn't add or subtract anything on the outside, so my vertex is 2, 0. A is 1, so it's positive. It'll open up, and you can look at the picture and see that. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. Your range... You're going to look at the y-coordinate of the vertex. It has a minimum, so it starts at the vertex. That's the lowest it goes. That's the minimum. And then it goes to infinity. On the next example, it's x minus h. So you have to do the opposite to find h. So h is negative 2. I didn't add or subtract anything on the outside of the parentheses. So on this one, my vertex is negative 2, 0. This is going to open up. My A value is positive. Is A is 1. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. And your range, it's got a minimum, so you start at the minimum. The lowest point, which is 0, it includes 0, so it's a bracket. And then it goes to infinity. I'm going to go to the next page now. This time, notice I don't have anything with x before I square it. There's not a set of parentheses with the square on the outside. So this on the inside. This plus 2 is on the outside. So this is actually my k value. So in this case, my vertex is 0, 2. My a value is 1, so it's going to open up. 
My domain is negative infinity to infinity. And then I have to look at my k value here. My k value is a minimum, so that's where I start. So 2 is included. I use a bracket, and then it goes up forever, so infinity. On the next one, my vertex, I didn't subtract anything from x before I squared it or add anything to x before I squared it. So my h value is 0. This is k. I don't do an opposite on k. a is 1, which is positive. It opens up. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. This is a minimum, so you start at your k value, and it is included, so you use a bracket, and then it goes up forever. On the next one, my h value here is negative 2. You have to do an opposite. This is my k value, so k equals negative 2. So my vertex this time is negative 2, negative 2. A is 1, which is positive. It opens up. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. It has a minimum. That's where you start. The minimum value is your k value. Bracket, it is included. Negative 2 to infinity. Next two examples. On this one, I didn't subtract anything from x before I squared it. And notice I don't have plus or minus on the outside. This is my a value. And so my vertex is 0, 0. Since a is negative, it's going to open down. And you can see in my picture it's opening down. Your domain is negative infinity to infinity. Your range, however, is floor to ceiling. It goes down forever. This would have arrows on it. So the lowest it goes is negative infinity, and infinities always have parentheses. And the highest it goes is the y-coordinate of the vertex, because this is a maximum this time. So the highest it goes is 0, and there is a bracket on the 0. So if it has a maximum, you're going to end at your k value. If it has a minimum, you'll start with your k value. On the next example, my vertex is h is negative 2, k is 2, and a in this case is negative 1. So my vertex is negative 2, positive 2. This opens down, and I knew that because a is negative. My domain is negative infinity to infinity. My range, it has a maximum, so it ends at my k value. It goes down forever, so it's negative infinity with parentheses, and it ends at my k value, which is 2. Bracket on the 2. Okay, now let's go ahead and do these without the graph. So my vertex, so if you wanted to write a, h, and k down, a is 3, h is 0, k is 0. So this vertex is 0, 0. a is positive, so it opens up. Your domain is negative infinity to infinity. And since my k value is 0 here, and it has a minimum because it's going to open up, I start with my k value. So it starts at 0 with a bracket and goes to infinity. On my next one, a is negative 3, h is 0, k is 0. So my vertex is 0, 0. a is negative, so this opens down. So that means it's going to have a maximum. Your domain is negative infinity to infinity. Since it has a maximum, you'll end on your k value. That's your highest value. And then it goes down forever. So negative infinity with parentheses, comma, zero with a bracket. You have to go low to high. You cannot switch the order. You cannot put the zero first and the negative infinity second. That's wrong. On the next one, a is 1, 
H is negative 3 and K is 0. So my vertex is negative 3, 0. A is positive, so it opens up. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. My range, since it opens up, it has a minimum. You start with your K value, which is 0. It includes 0, so it has a bracket. And then it goes up forever, so infinity. And then a parenthesis. On the next one, the only difference between this is now A is negative 1. But your H is negative 3 still, and your K is 0. So my vertex is still negative 3, 0. But this time, since A is negative, it opens down. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. My range, since it opens down, it has a maximum, so you end on your K value, so it ends at the 0. And it goes down forever, so you start at negative infinity. So it's parenthesis negative infinity to zero bracket. On this one, A is 1, H is 0, K is negative 3. So my vertex is 0, negative 3. A is 1, so it opens up. Domain is negative infinity to infinity. Since it opens up, it has a minimum, so it will start with my k value. And so on this one, you're going to have negative 3 bracket to infinity. On the next one, a is 1, h is 0, k is 3. So this has a vertex of 0, 3. This one opens up. Domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range, since it ha opens up, it has a minimum. So it will start with a 3. And then it goes to infinity. On this next one, a is negative this time, so A is negative 1, H is 0, K is 3, so my vertex is 0, 3. Since A is negative, it opens down, and my range, since it opens down, it's going to end at the vertex. The vertex will be the maximum, and it goes down forever. So you start with a down. Two up, so floor to ceiling. On the next one, my vertex, you have A is negative 1, H is 0, and K is negative 3. So my vertex is 0, negative 3. A is negative, it opens down. And my range, since it opens down, it has a max, so negative 3 is my maximum and it goes down forever. So today you're gonna determine the vertex, decide if it opens up or down, and then write the domain and range.